Well, did you know that children, even infants, can get kidney stones? Yeah, they used to not be very common in kids, but doctors say they're finding kidney stones increasingly more common. Haley Hernandez is here with uh, some of the reasons why. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. So for example of what you're saying, Texas Children's Hospital says they've seen a 40% increase in kidney stones this year. That is a significant increase, which is why Texas Children's and the Medical Center and the West Campus have formed a stone clinic to try and treat these kids suffering with the condition. It feels like somebody like stabbed you and stabbed you and stabbed you. And Katie stabbed Elkins you. was in fifth like grade when she was crying, vomiting in pain, and her parents called an ambulance. And she just couldn't sit still. She was moving and trying to get comfortable and couldn't. It was the worst feeling ever. Because you see your baby, she's crying, hysteric, she's in pain, and there's nothing you can do for her. While in the hospital at Texas Children's, doctors informed her she has several kidney stones. Pediatric urologist Dr. Paul Austin says the number of kids getting them is already up 40% just this year. It's, I think it's fluid hydration, I think it's diet. I think those are the two biggest culprits. I think kids are eating too much processed foods with lots of sodium and they don't drink enough. The best advice for dealing with stones is to try and avoid them in the first place. But Dr. Austin says our warm climate and schools are adding to the problem. Restrictions of uh, water bottles in the classroom uh, may also be the amount of uh, time or lack thereof uh, that they have between classes that they could go to the water fountain. Katie has an appointment in two weeks at the TCH Stone Clinic where doctors will determine the best way to treat the stones she hasn't passed and give diet instructions that might help her avoid them in the future. But her mom says with as common as they've become, she wishes more clinics could be available to help kids. Now, diet modif modification such as increased water is usually the biggest treatment suggestion. There's also some people who would need surgical intervention or shock waves to break the stones so that then they can pass. Uh, so painful, wow. but uh, yeah, and terrible for kids mm -hmm. to have to deal with that. Definitely.